Hello everyone, welcome to Static GK quiz number 279. This video is aimed to help you with your state and central government exams like SSC, UPSC, state PSCs and banking and insurance related examinations like RRB, IBPs, etc. I'm Ritrisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. In which of the following situations, the force applied by the weight of a person becomes zero in a lift? Correct answer is when the lift moves downwards with the acceleration of 9.8 meter per square second. That is uh, with an acceleration equal to the acceleration due to gravity. So this is known as apparent weight. In physics, apparent weight is a property of the objects that corresponds to how heavy an object is. The apparent weight of an object will differ from the weight of an object whenever the force of gravity acting on the object is not balanced by an equal but opposite normal force. So this is why this happens in an elevator because the elevator is also moving towards the direction of the uh, force of gravity uh, which is why uh, the weight of the person inside the elevator kind of cancel it, cancels it out and becomes zero. A person who is pulling a bucket filled with water falls behind with a sudden break of the ropes. Which of the following laws of Newton come into action? Correct answer is third law. So Newton's third law states that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. So what happens is since the person was pulling this uh, rope, it, uh, the person was exerting a certain amount, so amount of force on the rope. Now the rope in exchange was actually uh, exerting the same amount of force on the person. The moment that uh, force breaks, the rope breaks, that force stops. So the person is now left pulling at nothing. So er, he falls behind. So the statement means that in every interaction, there is a pair of forces acting on two interacting objects. On which of the following inertia of an object depends? Inertia depends on mass. So inertia is the resist resistance of any physical object to any change in its velocity. This includes changes to the object's speed or direction of motion. So the more the mass of the object, the, the more difficult it is to uh, stop it when it's moving or make it move when it's at rest. So inertia is directly proportional to the mass of the object. Which of the following are found in nucleus of deuterium? What is deuterium? Deuterium is actually a, a hydrogen isotope. So correct answer is one proton and one neutron. So the, uh, we can tell by the name itself that there will be two objects in the nucleus. So deuterium is one of the two stable isotopes of hydrogen. The nucleus contains one proton and one neutron, whereas the far more common proteum, which is what normal hydrogen is, has no neutrons but just a proton in its nucleus. There is also another isotope of hydrogen which is stable, which is tritium, that has two neutrons and one proton. So basically the proton kind of balances the charge of the electron. So if it has one electron, it has to have one proton because otherwise the element itself won't be stable because it will be electrically charged. So the neutron is the only thing which changes in number. What was the term used in the medieval India for land directly ruled by the central government? Correct answer is Kaliza. The revenue yielding land administered directly by the imperial revenue department was known as Kaliza. Ordinarily, the most fertile and easily administered lands were brought within the Kalisa. Who among the following was known as Lakhabaksh? Correct answer is Kutubuddin Aibak. He was a general of Ghurid Emperor Muizuddin. He was in charge of Ghurid territories in northern India and after Muizuddin's death, became the ruler of an independent kingdom that evolved into the Delhi Sultanate ruled by the Mamluk dynasty. Who among the following was considered as mixture of opposites? Correct answer is Muhammad bin Tughlaq. So, uh, no, rule, uh, no ruler in medieval India has earned so much controversy regarding his character and policies as Muhammad bin Tughlaq. Uh, he is called mixture of opposites because he took quick decisions which in some cases turn out to be wrong and some of his plans looked so strange that they almost ruined the empire. Uh, one of the examples would be he stopped uh, minting gold coins and started using uh, copper or bronze coins. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but uh, so the, at that point of time, people were used to valuing gold. So if we suddenly change the component of the coin, people won't value it anymore. So these kind of decisions kind of earned him the name of mixture of opposites. Rila was a work of which of the following? Correct answer is Ibn Battuta. So, Rila refers to both a journey and the written account of that journey or travelogue. The classical Rila in medieval Arabic travel literature 
uh, are those written by Ibn Battuta and Ibn Jubair. Includes a description of the personalities, places, governments, customs, and curiosities experienced by these travelers, usually within the boundaries of the Muslim world. Which among the following is not a work of Amir Khusrau? Correct answer is Tapkate Naisri. So this is actually named after Sultan Nasiruddin and is an elaborate history of the Islamic world written in Persian by Minhaj Siraj Juzdani and completed in 1260 AD. That part of land granted by the Sultan to military chiefs for maintenance of a given number of troopers was called Ikta. So Ikta system was first introduced by Al-Tutmish in the Delhi Sultanate. In this system, land was granted to Turkish nobles in lieu of salary. The holders of its tracts were uh, called as walis or muktis. Later, iktas became provinces or subas. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.